Hi, this is Joachim for statisticsglobe.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to apply the pull function of the dplyr package in the R programming language. So in the video I'm going to show you two examples and both of these examples are based on the data that we can create in lines 3 and 4 of our code. So if you run these two lines of code you will see that a new data object appears at the top right of our studio. And we can also have a look at this data object by running line 5 of the code. So if you run this line of code, you will see that our example data contains 5 rows and 2 columns. Now, if we want to apply the pull function of the dplyr package, we also need to install and load the dplyr package. And this is shown here in lines 8 and 9 of the code. I have installed the package already, so I'm just going to load it with line 9 of the code. And now after running this line of code, we are able to use the pull function of the dplyr package. So in the first example, I want to show you how to extract a column of a data frame by the name of this column. And this is shown here in example 1 of the code in line 12. And uh, if we want to extract a column by its name, then we simply have to specify within the pool function the name of the data that we are using. So in this case, we have called our data frame data. And uh, then we need to write a comma. And then after the comma, we need to specify the name of the variable that we want to extract. So in this example, I'm going to extract the column x1 from our data frame. Now, after running line 12 of the code, you will see that at the bottom in the RStudio console, the values of the column x1 are returned as a vector. In example 2 of the code, I want to show you an alternative way on how to use the pull function in R. And uh, in this second example, we are going to extract a column of our data frame by the index number of the column. So uh, again, we are going to extract the column x1 of our data frame. And since the column x1 is at the first position of our data frame, we need to specify the number 1 if we want to extract this column by its index. So if you run line 15 of the code, you will see that the output is exactly the same as in example 1, but this time we extracted the values of the column x1 by the index of this column. Yeah, so that's basically how to apply the pull function in the R programming language. However, if you want to learn more on the pull function, you could check out my homepage, statisticsglobe.com, because on the homepage I have recently published a tutorial on the pull function, and in this tutorial I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. Furthermore, if you have liked the video, I would be very happy if you leave me a comment. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel in order to get notifications in future whenever I'm releasing new videos to the channel. That's it for this video. Thanks a lot. See you next time.